Let's turn the light off for now. Oh shit, that scared me. Lady! Woo! <laughs> the heart rate's going now. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we're playing on a map that's almost entirely made up of the wasteland generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. All right. Um, we do have, however, if you're watching me for the first time, uh, we do have somewhere on this map um, two major places of interest that we're searching for. One is that we do have a small green biome with a town and a trader. And we are looking uh, for that area, uh, but we haven't found it so far. So I've spent time in the in the northwest part of the map. I've spent time in the north part of the map and the northeast part of the map so far. And all of this area, or at least most of this area that you see this uncovered, I could visibly see from where I was, and there was no you know green biome or no uh, Mega City, which is the other uh, important area of interest that we're eventually hoping to find. Uh, so if you're if you're familiar at all with the nitrogen map generator, uh, you can configure all kinds of things, including how many cities and what size they are and that sort of thing. And so when this map was generated, um, it was uh, it only has one mega city on it, and that's the only city on the entire map. And then it has a few large towns. So we're looking for uh, both the green biome. And for the Mega City, the plan is to hopefully find the Green Biome first, move to the Green Biome, get leveled up, get geared up, and then once we're like all badass and everything, then we go find the Mega City and we, we take it over and, you know, loot it and have fun that way. So that's, that's kind of, you know, what I'm hoping to do. If we find the Mega City before we find the Green Biome, I might change that up, but I haven't really decided yet uh, how we're going to do that. Anyway, uh, so today we are going to, we're going to stay in town here and we're going to basically loot POIs today. And the reason being is because uh, we're only two days away from Horde Night and I don't want to be um, out in the wilderness uh, again uh, when Horde Night starts. So we're going to wait until Horde 28 is over before we set out and continue our search for the Green Biome and for the Mega City. So today's episode is basically going to be us... Um, looting the POIs around this town that we haven't looted yet. We've hit like all the stores and stuff, but we haven't hit like all the houses. And then um, we might continue that tomorrow too, depending upon how things go, because my horde base is pretty much ready to go. There is one thing that I did want to do uh, with it, however, and maybe what we'll do is let's actually do that right now, just so it's good, so it's good to go. Uh, I mined last night, so uh, we got, but you know, we got uh, more lead, cooking up and I'm, I'm continuing to feed more iron and clay into that forge this guy's working on more stone uh this guy's i guess needs to be working on concrete mix but we've got uh, several stacks now of concrete uh, and that's all over here so we got uh, two four five five and a half full stacks uh, of concrete right there so we're in pretty good shape you know with that uh, but what i want to do is let's grab this hatch and let's grab some iron. And we've got, uh, oh, I'm looking for ingots. Ingots, iron ingots. Let's grab all the forged iron we have and we'll make some more of those in here. Just so we have them. And it's gonna be a while yet before those are done. So let's see, I think we're ready to go. We're not doing anything in there right now. Uh, we're making glue and over a thousand gunpowder in here. Lots and lots of glue. So we're going to have duct tape up the butt, man. <laughs> uh, we're not, we're pro we probably won't even need duct tape for the rest of this whole entire playthrough after all that's done. Anyway, uh, all right, let's get going here. So we're going to head over first to our, our horde base and do just a couple of quick things over there. And then, that, you know, that base is basically going to be... Get it? See what I just did there? That base is basically... All right, I'll stop. Uh, going to be ready for Horde Night when the time comes. So it's just set up right over here by the football stadium. Uh, I wanted to take advantage of the, of the ramp that's already in place there. And we did use this on Horde Night 14 to pretty good success. It was actually great success if you if you consider the fact that we didn't get killed. 
Let's block this off temporarily while we're here. Um, so what I want to do uh, with the base is I want to put uh, wood uh, uh, bars up here. And then we'll upgrade them to iron with a hatch. That dog down there. Okay. Um, yeah, that torch is kind of in a weird spot, but it's because all these blocks, you know, the, the direction the blocks themselves are fa uh, facing. Uh, okay, so let's see. Oh, we've got... Uh, oh, dog, why didn't I bring some concrete with me? Son of a... All right, you know what? I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get that really quick, cause cause we need to finish upgrading. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, we are back uh, with concrete now, uh, because we do have a few more blocks here that we need to get upgraded to reinforced. Is that? Is it just those two? Oh, maybe so. Okay. Uh, all right. So, let's see. We want to. Oh, you know what? Let's also get this upgraded this is basically our little murder hole when we're working on the base and we have uh, you know zombies what the, their pathing will do as long as I keep this blocked is it'll go around and come up those stairs and then try and come over here to get me so uh, where'd that dog go hmm, I don't know okay is there anything in front here. I'm pretty sure we got the tower all upgraded to reinforced. Oh, I should have started making the wood bars. Alright, so let's do that now. Let's make, um, how many are we going to need? We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three. So 15, I guess. Looks that way. But well, I'm also going to put a hatch up here, so I actually need 14. Oh, the dog's down on the ground there. Okay, well, we won't worry about him as long as he doesn't cause us any trouble. You know, I wonder if they could theoretically jump that corner to get over to me. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if they could. So let's put those up there just to kind of discourage that. Okay, so we want to put the bars down. Let's get um, advanced rotation going here. That's good. And I'm not sure where I want to put the hatch. See, the thing is, is I think all of these are inward facing, so we're not going to be able to put like a ladder, uh, ladder down. We might have to just use um, a nerd pole to get up, get up and down the hatch, which we can do. That's not a big deal. Sounds like Fido. Just ag aggroed on us. Uh, let's grab this. Oh, shit! <laughs> that thing I was talking about, about how they could jump up there? Yeah. You know what? That might not have happened, though, if we would have just not had that block there. Maybe all we do is just block that part off. Okay. Back to this. Copy rotation. And, uh... What, it, oh, I thought I had to sneeze there for a second. Okay, so that's the center. Um, so we'll put a block there. And now, let's make a an iron hatch. Which we need to do the upgrade there. I think let's turn it that direction. Okay.
There we go. Okay, now let's get the bars upgraded. Excellent. Excellent. I suppose it's theoretically possible that a buzzer could come down through there or through here. Um. Oh. That needs to be upgraded. I wonder if... We have if our SI is stout enough to extend these bars out a little bit more. The reason being is because, you know, sometimes the Zekers, I, I noticed this in the last quarter nine is they'd kind of group up down there and start breaking the, the bar. And I do have some Molotovs, but you know, getting Molotovs through there is is risky a risky business. What we really need to probably start doing is doing like pipe bombs. Uh, actually, no. We I know how to make grenades. I, th I know how to make both types of grenades because we found the thingamadoodle for it. Yeah, okay. That's something to think about. Pipe bombs are a lot cheaper, but grenades all obviously do more damage. Um. I'm all, almost... Also wondering if I maybe should have made this three blocks high, just because if a buzzard gets down here, it can still reach in here and hurt me. Uh, that would mean I'd have to redo all these damn bars, though. And we'd lose all of that iron. Hmm. Well, let's just go with this for now, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it does. What we could do... What we could maybe do is put hatches in these openings here, because if I open the hatches, I can walk through them. And that would protect us from, you know, buzzards coming in that way. Of course, there's not really any point in doing that if we don't have... A, a, a plat, you know, a place to actually walk onto, and I, I'm just, I don't know, I'm a little bit concerned about adding more, another row of bars out here because, you know, I've done stuff like that before and had the whole thing collapse or even part of it collapse, and we don't really want that to happen. So I, I think what we'll do is let's just go with, with this setup. For, Horde Night, we'll just see how things go, and if I'm if I'm having lots of buzzard problems either from the top or them, you know, possibly coming through the sides here. We might have to uh, to rethink this and, and maybe make it like a block higher than it currently is. But let's just leave it the way it is now and we'll see how things go. Because Horde 28, Horde 28 should be... Right, we're, we're game stage 107. It'll, it'll be significant. I'm sure we're going to have cops. Um, that's what these little shields are for. So we can kind of duck behind them, you know, if a cop starts to spit at us. Okay, so that's all we're going to do with this. Yep, get on up there. We'll leave all these blocks in place for now, but we'll pull all these up, of course, right before the Horde Night starts. Make sure to pull those up, too, so our path, the pathing works the way we need it to. Okay, let's go ahead and start looting some POIs. Um, we've already looted this little ranch house here, so let's do this kind of creepy looking uh, psych psycho, psycho mansion. Psycho? Yeah, Psycho. The movie Psycho. And we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of randomly loot stuff um, until the Horde Night starts. That's, that's the plan anyway. So you know, since we're so close to the base, we might as well just drop the building stuff back off now, and that way we don't have to mess with it later. I'm going to keep the hammer with me. We'll keep that. And let's put the axe down here. 
All right, let's hit this house first. Um, I don't know if I've ever done this house before. Not sure. But it looks like this is the place to go in right here. So let's just put the bike down there. And let's do this. This house does kind of look familiar, but I can't say... Whoa. I can't say for sure if I've actually been in here or not. It just goes out onto the porch. Let's turn the light off for now. Oh, shit! That scared me! Lady! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the heart rate's going now. Oh my goodness. Scared the hell out of me. Whew, okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. We got this. <laughs> we got this. I think we got this. Holy crap. That was scary. Uh, nice. Seven shotgun shells in the sink. Scrap a doodle with both of those. Okay, we got a sleepy in there. Little playground out there with a slide. Okay. Oh, shit, that's a biker. Ah, close! Close, close, close. Phew! Okay. Those morons could have come around through here. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't, though. Woo! Let's repair that. And repair that. We can bust that thing out of the way. All right. Continuing on here. Some jars. Um, I want this. Coffee. Nice. Scrap a doodle. Um, I'll probably be a little more generous with our inventory space because we're so close to the house. Some of that stuff I probably, if we were far away, I'd throw out. But since we're close to the house, let's keep it. And we'll put it in here. Uh, let's take with this right now. Okay. Double check the weapons. Pink dye. I guess we're going up there in a little while. Nice. We'll take that food. Anything back in here? Don't think so. Uh 
All right, let's go upstairs. There isn't anything behind those, is there? No, that's a solid, solid chunk there. Oh, look what's <laughs> look what's gonna come out of there. Okay, we better get the AK ready. Bet you a million bucks we're gonna get Zeekers coming out of there. You know what we could do, actually. Here, let's do this. Let's build this up. Uh, can they get up through there? This, the, the trim's in the way. Is it this? Oh, no, it's this. There we go. All right, let's just leave those there. I don't we don't really need to upgrade it. Well, you know what? We probably should upgrade this one. At least that far. Okay, so let's make sure our hammer's on our toolbar. Wow. Okay. I was expecting the uh, Seekers to pop out of there, but guess not. They could have. Let's close that door. Um, that's not the college jacket. What are we wearing now? Heat resist is more important in this in this world because we don't even have a snow biome anyways. I think we're wearing coveralls, right? Yeah, or overalls rather. Okay, we'll stick with the overalls. We can just scrap a little of these. Well, wait a minute. No, these actually have plus five heat resist. So that's actually better than the, than the overalls. So we will we'll start wearing those and we'll scrap doodle these. Yeah, these have better cold resist, but like I said, cold doesn't matter in this playthrough. And same thing for the jacket. Um Don't need it. If it was a college jacket, I'd probably keep it because of the speed buff, but Alright, let's grab this. And we got somebody's attention. Where's that coming from? Alright. He did. Nothing behind there. Hmm. Forgot the reload. Okay, nobody's in there. A little secret back there. Huh. Okay. Nothing. What the hell? What the hell, man? I think this is the room that the infected guy came out of.
Um, that has one more heat resist than what we're currently wearing, which is... What are we currently wearing? Oh, it's a t-shirt. Uh, all right. We can switch those. No reason not to. Oh, <laughs> I just put it back on when I took it off. Duh. We want this. Modify that. There we go. All right. And then uh, where? That works. That works. All right. We'll scrap a doodle this. 29 mil rounds. That's good. Okay. Cornmeal, we'll keep that. Cat food. Okay. Uh, this is a purse with nothing in it. I think we're ready to proceed. Everybody loaded? All right, here we go. Okay, let's leave this door open in case we need a, a place to retreat to. Oh, nice. Uh, I actually used my other anti antibiotic when we got back from the trip because I was infected and I couldn't get back in time for honey to work. So uh, it's nice that we were able to replenish that. I think that gives us three antibiotics. All right, what the hell is going to happen when I go in here? Feeling like someone's going to drop on our head. Okay. Ten animal fat. Let's grab this too, why not? Eat those. These were down pretty low. In fact, let's eat these as well. And if we drink one of those, that'll free us up a slot too. Okay, good deal. That's all blocked off there. Yeah, I have definitely never been in this POI before. Let's close that door. I see a lot of gut piles, but I don't see any Zekers. There might be something going to happen over there, though, maybe. All right, let's get rid of this. And we might as well harvest the gut piles. Bad Fido. Bad Fido. Was he like uh, Super Fido or something? He seems like he's just normal Fido. Fido. Did take me a few hits to kill him with the machete, but I have no skills in Blade anyway. Scrap a doodle, and we'll take we'll take that. Okay, yeah, that was uh, unexpected. Sort of unexpected. You kind of expect unexpected things to happen in these places. All right, looks like we found the in loot. 
Hit that thing, man. Pain pills. M.E.O. Nishin. And what do we got in the good stuff? Oh, nice. Very nice. Look at that. A yellow compound crossbow. And even at that, our normal crossbow still is two points better. Hmm. Well, they are both yellow level. Thirty-eight. Uh, they both had the same mod slots, so I mean, honestly, this one is still better. I'm gonna take it anyway, though. I'm gonna take it anyway. We already found a small uh, motor tool mod, or gas tank mod, rather, in uh, the last episode. So let's. Uh, I don't want to have to come back up here. So let's scrap that. Let's scrap that. I've got so many pipes; it's ridiculous. Um, this. That's a pretty nice piece. You know, being as how it's purple, it's going to have four mod slots in it. I might I might hang on to that for now. I might just do that. Let's hang on to that for now. Okay, what else? Um, we can ditch the jars. So that gives us two more slots. And we've all... Uh, we don't need one piece of paper. There we go. All right, let's see what's in the chamois chamois crate here I want both of those things so we need to do one more thing we don't really need to drink right now um 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 um, um pink dye we don't need pink dye okay is that it though seems to me like um wasn't there another area of the house, you know, that's on the other side of the the barbed wire and all that? Let's go look at that again. Let's break through here. Yeah, see, this is a whole nother part of the house uh, we'll scrap a doodle of those we can't quite get through there there's my crossbow bolts just trying to see if there was something up there Oh, okay. I guess we could have come up here uh, via the stairs. Oh, that's right. I think I have been in this POI before because that's a collapsible ceiling. So I think we were supposed to start on the roof. If I remember right, can we reach that? Not from there. Fireman's Almanac Volume 2. Deal 25% more damage to blocks. but Okay, that's fine because we don't use our axe as a weapon anyway. Very nice. Okay, 11 things of paper. That's a lot of paper to give up. I don't want to give up that much paper. So what's going to go? What's going to go? What's going to go? What's going to go? Let's get rid of the nitrate. I got tons of nitrate under the house in our mine. All right, we know both of those things, so we'll scrap a doodle them. Yeah, yeah. So, so this roof here collapses. Wonder if I can hit it with my, uh, my spear's got more reach. At least I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does, because why else would all these be down here? Uh, one thing we could do is. Where's my axe? Grab some leather while we're at it. In fact, here, let's just do both of these. We don't need the red. Oh, we got a level. Fantastic.
Yep, see collapsible floor. Okay. It's a bag there with a club in it. So what you do is you come you come through here and then of course you step down there and then the whole thing collapses and drops you down inside. I'm just checking to see if there's anything up here, you know, loot wise that we might have missed. I don't think so. But I mean, it does, you know, it does have multiple uh, entry entry points because uh, unless, I don't know, maybe that area we went into down below had been busted out by the Zekers. That could, that could be too. All right, let's hop down here. We've already looted that mailbox. Yeah, I'll bet you that's what happened because look at all the damage on those blocks. That, that must mean what happened. So I think you get up, um, I'm pointing, <laughs> uh, in the backyard there on the roof. Okay, so that POI is done. And we are also out of time. So um, what I'm going to do, guys, is we're going to start the next episode and continue on. And uh, keep looting some POIs. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go hit that house over there next. And we'll just kind of systematically, in an ever-widening radius uh, from the prison here continue looting stuff we could even loot the, the football stadium too i mean there's lots of lockers in there but there's also lots of football players so i don't know that's that's kind of dangerous af um we need to keep that for our master lock because we haven't had very good luck with lock picks in uh, this playthrough we'll put the extra bullets in there it's too bad this crossbow isn't at least as good as the one we have, just because I like the compound crossbow. I think it's awesome. But I'm going to keep it for now. There's not really any reason to, but I'm going to anyway. Just because. <laughs> just because. All right. Cool. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.